but uh, the main thing that I would say that Max Prime has to be diligent about is just staying outside of the range of that jump S from Ghost Rider. Uh, mm -hmm. He tries to set up a lot of unblockable assists, uh, sorry, unblockable setups with the Felicia assist. Um, the rolling buckler being low on the last hit. Mm. It's just a backflip right through the chain to get the first hit. This should be a good kill on Ghost Rider since Captain America is known for that damage. That was a that was a pretty massive uh, opportunity there. Oh, just rolled back and gets the hit. Nicely done. Um, I think what Jaco Man's team really brings is a lot of sequences that are pretty tough to deal with once they get going. But if you can disrupt the neutral, if you can get those hits in, it obviously the power level starts to shrink really quickly when you're looking at, you know, Felicia with Nemesis Assist. It's pretty unconventional. Shout out to Kuma to the sub. We appreciate you so much. I think man, we're already almost like hitting 10 subs already for the night. Thank you guys. Uh, and this is what you need to do, right, with Felicia. You put on the Kitty Helper, you're trying to make a little bit of noise, trying to make it difficult, and finds a hit. Is this going to be a dead character? Uh, it, actually, this should be, yeah, with the Team oh, Super. This is nice. Should be able to get a nice extension at the end. Oh, he oh, flips boy. out. It's the air throw. That damage sucks. Oh, and this time the Shield Slash. Captain America doesn't die from the raw tag either. Mm. Was still alive, but unfortunately died to the noodles. Gets hit by the cross-up on incoming. It was a good cross up. No, it was it was clean. I mean, the missus doesn't have a ton of options on incoming, so nicely done. Uh, that's going to hit and get Wesker in. The glasses are off. He chooses the X Factor, but drops it. A little reset situation and just gets hit. Okay, nicely done. Just gets hit. Jacob Man getting hit with the Street Fighter there. The normal jump S. Alicia trying to guess the cross up on the X Factor, and the teleport actually stayed in front. So Max Prime takes game one. Okay, so this is kind of playing out how I envisioned it a little bit, where, you know, Jacob Man has a chance to make some big momentum swings, right? And we saw that with the Felicia hit, started to get something going, but not able to turn it all the way into a win. And Max Prime's team, like, Wesker Doom Beam is just really solid. That's that's fine. So is Cap Doom Beam. That, that's just fine neutral. It doesn't matter how you mix the team up. As long as you have that shell, you're going to be okay. Oh, up to AC. Okay, so now we're going to get an extension. But definitely Jaco is going to struggle with damage and actually finding himself getting punished after a weird... What is that move called? Delta Kick? Delta Kick, yes. Interesting tool, though, in Felicia's arsenal, I would say. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it has really high priority. It is technically a dive kick. It's just a lot more horizontal than most of them, uh, being able to capable of going full screen, as well as causing a ground bounce no matter uh, which part you hit on it. Felicia does have tools, just like Ghost Rider has tools. It's just that they're a little bit more awkward. You know, that's just, uh, that's the trade-off you get for playing these characters. For sure, and we're actually going to see the motorcycle into the Kitty Helper, trying to get Felicia on screen right now, trying to pressure with the, uh, little cat. Okay, got the confirm. Oh, unfortunately, the cat broke the combo, uh, kept Doom up too high, and Max Prime is able to get a foot dive out of blocks done there. Gonna be able to kill Felicia here for very efficient, which is kind of the opposite of what. Uh, oh, whoa! Combo drop. Did he? He thought he had the gunshot, I guess, because it looked like he was going for like a jump. I, that was strange. Yeah, very, He's very used strange. He's running Jaguar dash. I think he that does. Yeah, it. he does. This is strange. Strange drop, but really fortunate for Jaco, who now is kind of getting back in control of this match. If he can keep Cap under wraps, you don't want to eat a hard charging star here. Yeah, playing a little careful, but it's hard, right? Because neither of your assists are super conventional, so you can't just, like, call a projectile, right? Right. That kind of becomes one, <laughs> like, eventually. Oh, nice frame Oh, I don't think the final <laughs> yeah, was no. intentional. No, he got mixed up there, surely, right? Switch sides on him. Dang, this is looking like a Jaco Man round so far. West is coming in with the X Factor already burning out. And resources on deck. Okay, that's going to hit. That unfortunately will not kill. Ran out of X Factor just a hair too early. Oh, didn't get the... Mm -mm -mm. Felicia hopped up and her hurt box disappeared. So that was strange. She wasn't able to get the punish on the incoming. That's not gonna hit either. Time is bleeding out, so we can kind of see a scenario where if you kill Felicia and you get a tag on Ghost Rider here, maybe some sort of timer scam. I mean, there's there's potential here. Okay, we had a hit. Uh, wait a minute, he's pushed out. He's pushed out. Ooh, that is so so unfortunate for Max Prime. Scrambly situation gets taken out. Ties it up, one to one. Jacob Mania starting up. 
I can tell you that uh, even though it didn't work, Jaco was ready to get out of his chair and dab. <laughs> yeah, it's always on deck. Oh, air scramble situation. Nothing there. Now we're backing back, back into the space where I was about to say that Ghost Rider has some ability to challenge, but Max Prime has just been kind of using the cartwheel and it's been working out. It's really risky. I saw uh, Magic Pixel mentioning in the chat that the neutral for this matchup was kind of RPS. And I think I kind of see what they're getting at there. Absolutely. The cartwheel uh, is definitely getting all sorts of whiff punishes going on. If uh, Jayco's a little more patient with the buttons, then it might be possible to uh, try to call that out. But uh, like Magic Pixel Mexican said, it is rock, paper, scissors at that point. And we see Captain America popping here. the X Factor to get the kill on Felicia. Oh! Dropped up combo on the big body, so that means that setup was super messed up. Unfortunately, now Nemesis gets out, but it's just Nemesis. Uh, Gotta be careful about that fire hazard rush. It has hyper armor. Oh boy. Okay, so the threat has been sort of neutralized here a little bit. We can, we can treat. Yeah, some characters you really have to treat as a different animal when they're in X Factor. Nemesis is kind of still the same. That's not gonna work out. But it's okay because we have the DAC if we want it. No, it doesn't even go for it, but no punish anyways. Wow. Dang, this character really sucks, man. Okay. Well, that's just the power-up he needed. Okay. No, he sucks. He sucks. Yep, still sucks. Didn't fall for the bait there on the delayed hypercharging. Star goes under the photon array to stay safe. Still has four bars, but can't do much with it. <laughs> Charging starts to... He really stays out a long time after that assist is called. Like the hitbox is pretty decent on the charging star, but there's a huge punch in this window and that assist. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I want to say it has like 27 frame startup, which is considerably fast. I think uh, Akuma's Tatsu is 37, hitbox. and Ryu's Tatsu is like 34. So like it's faster than the Tatsu's assist. It looks Tatsu's like a 30 something auto frames to me. I don't. I don't know. That's just me talking, you know, dummy brain with my eyes. It looks like a 30s. Well, you're probably right. You're more it of a 30s. It could be a 30s. Uh, I, I don't quite remember, but I, I think it's close to DP as a startup. Thank you, Robbie Duran, for the sub. Uh, Shouts to the, the chat pulling up, too. I saw Spooky getting the Macharino flying around there. Shout out to Spooky. Shows up immediately doing work, checking the bracket, checking the Macharino. We love you. By the way, everybody, please redeem those codes. Let's get these Marvel players paid. Saw another one come through just then. Magic. I like this Ghost Rider color, man. And that Felicia color. Nice. That color mod coming through clutch. Uh, Kinder Party, I what think I'll have to compromise with you on the assist startup. It's actually 29. So it's, it's close. 29. <laughs> Shush, bro. That, that's fast. That's nice. Okay, now Captain oh. is doing what he wants to. Yes, you just want to jump forward. That's if you if you have a matchup with Cap, where you can jump forward and be threatening, that's huge, because usually he has to be passive. So big payoff there. Oh, back throw into the corner now. This is a sequence that Jacob Man can turn this around with. That was a little unfortunate on Max Prime's part. Uh, looked like the button didn't come out when trying to do the box dash. I wasn't sure if uh, they were trying to go for a throw or an overhead at that point. But uh, Jaco did get the Kitty Helper out after getting the throw confirmed. Tried to go for the reset, no confirm. Oh, brother. There's so many after parts of Jacob Man's team that are just awkward. Like, it's just tough to keep it, you know. Like, he needs the Dragon Ball Fighters patch season three, you know? And just give all of his more hits fun. Everything just seems to work better, and it'd be fine. But getting those unfortunate drops where your stuff is engaged, that just sucks. Oh, no. That was that, such a that, good reaction to the raw attack. He's still alive, though. I think, yeah, he's still alive. So this is okay. I think he can, I think he can manage. He's just taking a lot of punishment. He's getting kind of boxed in, though. This is looking like a coffin. Captain America's doing what he needs to. He's pushing him back. He's playing the space. Jacob Man is down to pretty much a couple plasma beams here. Okay, we're going to choose to DAC. I think it's a decent time because he did did build back enough health. Mm. Yeah. Gonna get that clothesline rocket started, and oh, unfortunately, brother. Felicia loses brother. to footsies. Yo, He's the key helper hit the assist and kept her alive, but unfortunately not able to make anything more of it. Nemesis is on the ground. The x is going to have to come out. What's next? Scrambles. It's big damage. Oh, no. He didn't kill him. Super. This is still just so hard. Wait a minute. 
He doesn't have a bar. He doesn't have a bar. Let me get the punish this ben. time. Ben. Mix up. What's the mix? Ben. Dr. Doom blocks it. Stays patient. Could have got the throw punish there, but didn't. Oh, Jaguar. <laughs> Jaguar dash at least took the set. Sir. Oh, it's on a race. going to chip out. <laughs> Dude, see they come out and do that. It was so great seeing that assistant play, honestly. Shout out to... We, uh, we got Mario 19 on the uh, signature low tier team that we saw with the top eight from the ratio tournament versus Memes May, Pro May Cry playing a, uh, I would say, discount NorCal team. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Hellfire for the sub, the prime. We appreciate you. You only get one prime, and it's really awesome for you to drop it here, guys. All right, so you're a Spider-Man player. What kind of synergies can you possibly imagine that are at stake here? Uh, well, web ball is absolutely fantastic. Um, having the, uh, you know, just the additional Hadouken essentially with 30 frames of, uh, of capture state uh, being absolutely good. Um, and then also just being able to do invincible super into either ultimate web throw or another invincible super if they try to counter super. Uh, there's a lot of silly stuff there. Spider-Man, I think, has uh, is one of the only characters that has three invincible uh, supers on startup. Uh, but we have Wolverine on point right now, trying to deal with this zoning right now from Nova, grabbing extra pulses, energy javelins, and plasma beams galore. Here comes the web ball, trying to establish the pressure, doing the signature coach, Steve. The web, uh, plasma beam not getting out, and Nova ends up dying. For you back on point. Dude, this is... This is nice. This is nice. I'm not going to lie, Shadow Coin. Thank you so much. The 265th gifted sub, Shadow Coin. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Uh, I like this patient neutral. We've seen this from some of the other Ryu players in the tournament because we have a few, right? Um, you can kind of slow down the match and just be a meat shield and, and get a lot of mileage out of that. Okay, we're going to get a combo here. So Dr. Doom's not dead, right? But, but this is... We get a setup here? No, unfortunately, you have to X-Factor afterwards um, or, you know, just apply pressure with the Oki afterwards. Uh, Spider-Man doesn't really get anything uh, from that, unfortunately. And great blocks. Virgil going to the corner, starting up with the Spiral Swords. Gets the cross-up. Does not get the hit, though. Great defense for Mario so far. Staying alive, timing out the supers and gets the low. Was not prepared mm. for it. Mm. No drill Bro. left swing. Bruh, bruh. Ta ta Tatsumaki. Zimpaku. That don't work? He's in the it ground. did not. Oh, that nah, was set up. Nah, that, was a, that was the second layer. Beautiful they done for Mario. Getting the 1-0 lead on Means May Cry, who is by no means any pushover. So I expect to see a turnaround response here in the second game. I mean, it was honestly kind of going fine. Um, Ryu did get hit, but eventually he got out. Things got a little scrambly, and I think if you play a team that's a little, you know, unconventional and more, yeah, I don't know what to say, awkward, kind of like how, kind of how what we saw with Jaco Man set up, you still have, I think, an advantage in a lot of scramble situations, right? I just think you do, because it's weird. Like, I don't instantly know, like, like, I've seen a bajillion Helmbreakers after a break. You know what I'm saying? I know to respect right. that. I know the foot dive's coming, etc. But sometimes I don't really know what Reeves going to come out of a break with or, you know, what Spider-Man's going to fall down with, right? The butt, etc. Shout out to Shattercoin with another gift of sub, man. You're, you're unchained. Shattercoin Chatter unchained, man. Oh, the web ball actually kind of saving him there. Unfortunately, I think he just actually burned a snap, so just giving up a meter for free. Yeah, the one thing that we're seeing so far is that Memes, cr Memes mm. May Cry keeps trying to find uh, opportunities to go in with the box dash, and most of the time it's actually losing either to Ryu's buttons or to air throw. Yo! Uh, and we see Ryu get in over the gravimetric pulse here. This is unfortunately not going to kill, but he's going to cash out with the super. Nova is bleeding right now. And did the falling mm. test with the plasma beam assist, so won't be able to had to wait a while to raw tag into Virgil. This Nova on the back cool, game man. could create an unblockable setup here if he does it right. Oh, baby, did. that is so sick. Great call, Airborne, man. That was well executed by memes. I should have actually corrected myself. Uh, Takewa played this team at the end of his stint with Marvel 3 uh, and did a lot of disgusting things like that. 
Oh, just a little bit off, and Wolverine is so fast once he touches the ground, man. Great punish. Okay. Okay. The double super, and Virgil goes Sexy. down. It's kind of like an easier way of doing it instead of the drill call. Okay. All right. I love this matchup for Spider-Man. If he has meter, uh, you can react to almost all of Doom's advances with ultimate web throw, and he can't do a thing about it. Manages to get the punish on the dive kick, though. Okay. All right, so we just get the raw extra meter. So now this this is old school, man. Not dead. Was there some sort of lore about them being PSN PSN players? Because I feel it. I'm feeling the PSN energy and the strategy here. I, I've I've definitely held this before in my past and uh, turned my console off. Hundred percent. I've I've seen I've I've seen this. I've felt this before. Right, let's see how memes make cry can manage oh actually gets punished from the, oh. the uh, shinku hadoken not able to get the level two gravimetric pulse off almost has enough red health to take advantage of the level three one though oh tried to say uh, that looked like it might have been a cross up but stay in front dude another gifted sh sub shatter coin you're gonna i'm i'm you know I'm a, a, I'm a hit from the sticks, man. I can't I can't do the shushes. You're gonna have me literally flawless by the time we're done with this. Beautiful punish there, sequence that m many Doom players know how to set up with the rapid slash assist. Finds the Tozies in a full bread and butter. That's gonna put him away. One meter. Do we bring in Virgil? I like it. Go bully mode. Okay, set up, goofy. That was crazy. Okay, it worked out. Yeah, I being able to use that split dive there to get the cross up, so that Spider-Man had to switch block there. Unfortunately, Mario was not ready for it. That whole like, uh, okay, this is the Remora. Mm, no, not a little, little change up on the Remora. Okay. Has to be patient here. Find the opportunity. Has to X Factor soon. Does not X Factor and actually eats the Dimension Cut. That was so much damage. Right on the board. It's power of level two X Factor, baby. And he was in Devil Trigger. Oh boy. That <laughs> What's the scaling like on that assist? Oh, on Web Ball? Yeah. Like, you it's know, almost non-existent like because it is, uh, I think it only does 10k damage. So you can and get like a, a real hit. combo off. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's not. I mean, Spider-Man already has massive damage by himself. Um, if you do the Web Throw loops and everything, but uh, you get maximum uh, Web Throw loop reps, I think, off of a Web Ball. Mm -hmm. Man. I, you know what I'm seeing here from Mario? I'm seeing screen control. I'm seeing presence. I, it, it looks like just jumping back and forth, and that, cause that's literally what he's doing, because that's all Ryu can do, but it's with intent. He's playing a rhythm game with the space that he has, and I really like that. That's that's something that you have to do if your character kind of, man, and he's paying attention. You just don't let stuff like that get away for free if you want to get wins over top tier teams with teams like this. I love that. I love with the spirit that Mario is playing with, and it's being comboed with some pretty nice execution when he needs it. But Meme just hunting. Got on the board on the last game and up three meters right now. So a lot that could still happen in this game. Are you trying to deal with this photon shot pressure right now? Unfortunately, can't get past it. The web ball does beat up the photon shot, but it doesn't beat up the plasma beam. Uh, if it's light plasma beam, it will trade. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, another man, another great punish. This is oh, didn't get the confirm. You have to do standing jab or crouching medium with that. Okay. Back into the setups, and he's just going straight through. So Spider-Man jumps out, and the Wolverine assist gets a hit, but not able to combo. Unfortunate. Berserker Barrage is kind of like the poor man's shopping cart. Uh, it doesn't last as long, but it's very quick. Oh, did we have a pickup there? Oh. Up to the air throw, or does it not work? Uh, no, uh, it's uh, uh, at super jump height. It is possible, but you have to air dash and then do a delayed web zip afterwards. You have to space it correctly, and it get, actually, sorry, you have to uh, air dash with S and then uh, at it's the right hard. time. Yeah, it, it's a bit of a. Of course work. it is. It's fine. But it's it's doable. That's what matters. Ryu, good block. Okay, Ryu has to get something going here, and he doesn't really have much against the giant sword normals of Virgil. He's trying to be patient, trying to block it out. And he's really done such a great job of it so far, but Meme's finally able to find a crack there. And uh, he's going to have 18, 17 seconds left on the clock. This is actually pretty scary. Explosive moment coming. Yeah. 
I feel like a snap was possible, but I understand also not going for it. So let's let's wait and see. Ooh, this is 10 seconds now. This is getting bad. Trying to fish for it with Berserker Barrage, unfortunately. Oh, oh, actually managed to get in. Dr. Doom's... Oh, it didn't. Correctly. Gets an overhead. That would have been no, huge. He gets out. Oh, bro. <gasps> He's just Dr. evaporated. Doom's... Level snap? three. No. He's out. Oh my god, he teleported. Oh my goodness, zero seconds on the clock. Mario's gonna steal it with a level three. It's gonna cash out for the win. So, you know, knock it off and see what you can do in the lower bracket. But for now, we're gonna move on to the Senko, the premier Senko player of TNS versus Vex, um, who's actually repping the Chun-Li Morgan, but this time with Magneto. And it's actually Solfus Assist, not Dark Harmonizer. When Mag okay. uh, with Hypergrav on Magneto, not Disrupt. The Terry Bogar, I see, I see. Shout out to Shattercoin, another gifted sub, and Fruity, also. Thank you, Fruity Jesus. The gifted sub, appreciate you. All right, did not get the confirm, unfortunately. So Morgan gets out scot-free. Almost has the third bar built up, so has plenty of opportunity to go into the Astral Vision, and we see the first one pop there. Plasma Beam does not get the punish. Hypergraph comes out on Vex's side. It'll be interesting to see Disruptor here with Astral Vision. We've seen it before with Christy and some other players, especially Escalante. Uh, but uh, we actually get Magneto out on point with trying to take advantage of the Soul Fist. Gets Air Thrown. That's going to be it for Magneto, if I say so myself. Well, PZ's got what they want now, right? This is the the team point, is to have the assist active. Doom gets a kill, you're up big time. You have the Virgil insurance policy. You get a mix up here. Mm, can't can't interfere. The Zinko got tapped on the incoming. Morgan had, you know, a little, little fight back situation, but she just doesn't care. Puts it away, 1-0. Sinko I like the up, baby. that Feezy did there because he did super jump neutral light so that if he, if Vex busted out with level 3, it was just going to go right under him. If he uh, tried to air dash up, it would have actually caught Morgan and uh, and then, you know, everything else just fall into the, the pendulum at that point. Mm, falling down just gets a hit. What does this Sinko combo look like? Pretty nice. Okay, gets zero. That's <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's funny. It's gonna just bring Cinco and keep her in, actually. Okay, I I like this, man. PC's really showing dimensions to this character and, and making a lot out of it. This, this is fun. I like this. Yeah, Stalin right now trying to deal with this actual vision at the moment. The gong is great for reflecting the projectiles. As long as that projectile is out, it reflects projectiles, which is crazy. Deal with a lot of stuff right now. Trying to go over the gong at the moment. Does not get the punish. Oh, unfortunate uh, finishing shower into Mag Tempest. Ten Raiha is going to punish that. We're going to see an X Factor come out. Oh, and mistimes the raw tag. That was supposed to happen immediately, but unfortunately came out later than it should have. I wonder if Doom might have been on recovery from the assist ball. Well, now, once again, the effect, <laughs> the team is in effect. Yeah, this, is, this is on, the pressure is in, and it's going to pay off again. We get that one bar situation, builds it, kills. It's going to be pretty much the same as the first one. So Vex has to find something that's going to change up dramatically the game plan of PZ. It's got to be some big win in neutral here. Uh, got to find some presence early in this match and not let, I mean, I hate to say this, but Cinco get away with the neutral here. It's kind of... Kind of what's going on, and a really, really great use of plasma beat. Oh my! Oh, uh, ah, that was cute. <laughs> ah, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Nice that air throw cute. reset. Okay, baby. All right, all right. This is popping. This is hot. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now the presence has been established. Now it's Vex's plan. Vex got the pop off, and now we're in the sister, sister, and we're gonna make Doom hold this. Nicely done. This is it, baby. I, I, I'm just so, like, uh, entertained with seeing mm -hmm. Chun-Li hop around and move mm -hmm. so quickly where Hypergrab is trying to catch up. I'm just at a loss for words. But we're seeing Morgan try to stall out right now. Doctor Doom stalling in return, but unfortunately eats the drill kick. 
I love and that sound. Goes into Astral Vision. Just take that beater, baby. Here comes Virgil with the oh, with the Devil Trigger, not Spiral Swords necessarily. Ducks under the Plasma Beam, wasn't ready for it. Out come the Lucky Lemon. Meter is double and no Spiral Swords for you. Mm. And you're not even Next gaining meter from these hits anyways because you're in Devil Trigger. Okay. Next is playing really well. This is a great answer to the first two games. Big punish on Virgil there. Now, Dr. Doom's coming. You cannot sleep on PZ Dr. Doom, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the only character that PZ's still playing that they have always played. So, you gotta respect it. Play the matchup out. You have, you know, a huge health lead, but not necessarily a resource lead. So, this this Astral Vision has to count. It can't just be for nothing. Okay, oh, here we go. Ooh, weird. I saw what they were going for, and I love the ambition, but unfortunately, the combo drop led to a photon array X Factor. Confirm. Easy boy trying to create this solo Doom problem. Mm. Oh, what an answer. Chun Li just coming and fighting immediately. I like that. I, d I didn't even think about that as an option when she was coming into the screen, but it honestly makes so much sense. It's got such a weird hitbox, and then the normal spinning break. Dude. I love it. It looks so cool. It. It's great, man. It looks like a weird drop, and then it just gets so cool. Wow. Okay, I like it. It's making me want to just mess around with Spider-Man to see if I can do some like silly interactions with it. <laughs> That's cute. It's, it's like really consistent too. Like it's not like some crazy like overcomplicated execution thing. It's just like this like <laughs> combo engine basically. It's just like yeah, I do this, I do this, I get this, and you're dead. Cool. It's really intriguing for characters like Chun-Li, though, where positioning and the timing yeah. of the buttons and everything matters. So, like, you know, controlling the height and the spacing of the mm -hmm. character as you're juggling them, whereas Hypergram just does it all for you. Yeah, it just puts you right back down. That's kind of crazy. And now, all right, so the the Cinco Assist gets alive, and we get a hard tag, which is, you know, kind of what they had to do. They didn't have the second bar to DHC in, but Morgan's kind of more stiff when it comes to punishing hard tags. You really have to be in the right place at the right time. And PZ does a great job of, of milking out that meter. Hold on. Awkward situation. He gets the combo. Hold on. But he doesn't finish it. So now the reversal of fortune and PZ gets the hit. And Morgan's going to go down here. This photon array is going to be just enough. Somebody's going to be coming in. Tried to go up kicks again, but unfortunately the gold armor Shenko was already on top of her. And we'll not have to actually use the meter here. Save it for Magneto. Next hit will be a Doom Time if we need one. Oh, Yo. great X Factor up dash into the air throw there. Mm -hmm. That was very prepared by Vex. I think they knew and had dialed in that the mix up pattern was going to be another, you know, air dash cancel. So they just punished it. Okay, that sucks. Swords under swords under swords under swords. That's a classic, right? You just kind of fall into the shark tank at that point when you're in the air and you know you have to come down and Swords is active. Tough break for Vex, who has shown a lot of fight in those last games, but well done to PZ, who's going to advance again. And Hulk, Wolverine, and Spider-Man, bro. There just happens to be a habit of PSN players picking Berserker Barrage, Wolverine, and Spider-Man Web Ball, huh? Uh, this is cool. I don't know where this came from, this trend. But this is cool, and I like it, baby. Oh, that's going to be a punish there with the web zip. Oh, no. Uh, went over, but still managed to go into the spider sting. TAC down. Into the fatal claw loops. Nope, actually maximum spider, and then we're going to end with the gamma crush. This is actually fantastic THC synergy. Clean Spidey and Hulk. What? Oh, goes under the gamma tsunami instead, trying to keep it easy on himself. Sorry, on themself. Hulk. Managing to try to get some pressure established. Web ball has to respect it. Zen pull being diligent and mindful of it. Tries to climb the tree and Holt says no. Man, I'm gonna be honest. I I was on Angelic stream earlier uh, last year and we were doing just, you know, just kind of shooting shit, talking, hanging out. And we were discussing trends and this and that and the other of the game and biggest losers and things like that, right? Um, and I, I think we both agree that Wolverine was the biggest loser. And because we're previous Wolverine players, you know, it's sort of out of love, you know, kind of having fun. But I'm gonna be honest, it seems like a meme, but I kind of support exploring Wolverine and other points of the team. 
I think it kind of makes sense in some capacity. Now, am I totally convinced on it? Have I seen anything that's like, yo, that's something that I would do? Not necessarily yet. However, thank you, Shattercoin. Oh, oh, the throw cut. Oh, no. No. Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. That was on purpose. Nah. -uh. Huh? What? I don't think was it that was there to read it, but huh? I think that was an attempt to uh, punish on Akuma, but uh, it actually was he being on the rude? Bruh. I don't say. I don't, please, I, in this match, man, I need a break. You gotta talk for a minute. Uh, yeah, I'll gladly talk about this matchup. Uh, unfortunately. I was about to say that Spider-Man actually does really well in this matchup versus Akuma. As long as Spider-Man does not go in, Akuma has a hard time dealing with Spider-Man's runaway. And a lot of times he ends up committing into situations that Spidey can easily punish. Uh, Spider's thing beats every dive kick, for instance. Um, have you ever, uh, I just want, you know, can we appreciate Airborne for a quick second here? Man, have you ever just appreciated the, the depth of characters that you played, man? Like that's really, I think, something that is really cool about you and your, your, you know, you have so much context on all these characters, man. This is crazy. Well, I mean, I did play Spider-Man for way too long, but unfortunately, I still do. And Akuma, dealing with this matchup Shuma. can be frustrating at times. Uh, one thing that's uh, very notable about this matchup specifically is that the Deadpool has to be mindful of how they come down with the guns. If not, if not careful enough, uh, the final bullet will. Uh, will be the only thing that covers Deadpool and will actually lose to Web Throw since it's only one point versus three. Got Hulk on point though to try to help Spider-Man recover and does not get a full punish. Ends up going into the overhead off of the anti-air gamma charge. Okay, okay. Full screen, but it's not gonna be enough, right? Because it works, but it's a little, yeah. It's a little... Oh, that was cute. That kind of punishes the heart attack. That's, that's funny. I like that. And a big combo, man. That's a simple who always tries to get the most of his Ryu combos. I love it. All right. Into the guns. And Wolverine actually fell up, but rolled back into it and eats the Gohado Super. Both coming in. Good block. Both trying to get in underneath these fireballs right now. Goes for the Gamma Crush out of nowhere. Unfortunately, Spider-Man doesn't have a safety HC, but was just trying to wait to see if Zenpool would try to commit to a punish. If any jump uh, towards Hulk happened there, then it was a free ultimate web throw. Game of charge with the web ball assist, man. That's it's deadly. something you gotta be careful about. And, uh, That's honestly, deadly. if the web ball catches, it gives Hulk enough time to confirm. Be careful of it, jump over it. Oh, and what, oh, uh, this is actually one of my, low-key, one of my favorite assists with uh, Spider-Man is uh, the Gamma Wave, because if you Plink Dash while it's active, you actually cannot see Spider-Man at all uh, in between the Oh, cute. Files. Well, unfortunately, he's gonna die here. Okay, oh, no. And get out. Oh, and we're gonna go into the Gamma Quake. No, we're not, unfortunately. You have to be careful mm. about the timing on that. You have to DHC almost immediately weird. before the impact. Bro? Kuha Doken is going to go underneath. Raging Demon's going to lose to the Gamma Crush, though. Actually, no, it's, they're both going to win. Good block on the web ball. It wasn't going to be able an opportunity to confirm. The fireball's not very good in this matchup. And tries to stay diligent in the air, but actually gets clapped, literally. Five seconds left on the clock. Spider-Man has to deal with this for you right now. One million health, trying to tick it down to actually win in the percentage battle. Oh, and spider man lose to Shinku Hadoken. Oh, and pull goes up on that point. Be really careful with that situation. If you don't have the bar to do ultimate web throw, it actually is uh, pretty unsafe to be underneath Ryu while he has meter in that situation. spider man right, trying, trying to solve up the bullets. Jump heavy guns is uh, mm. and grounded heavy guns are really the only thing that uh, makes Spider-Man have issues in the air uh, when trying to stall above all of Deadpool projectiles. Oh, the web ball uh, caught, but unfortunately Hulk was still in recovery on the raw tag. Nice. One meter. 
Bring in Wolverine for the ink up. Wow. That was cute, man. That was cute. Little late cross up with the assist capture. So he gets the full setup. No, he drops it so bad. No. That is so unfortunate for him. That's so bad for him. He doesn't have the X Factor anymore. Okay, but he does find the hit on Ryu. He's got to detonate the Akuma situation, bro. This is scary. Oh, no. unfortunately, top two beats out uh, uh, low durability projectiles, which includes web ball. Trying to get underneath it. Actually, wasn't ready for the confirm, though. Had 30 frames. That's a long time. Wow. And then eats the ball. Incoming. Wow. He just disrespects the surroundings. I love it. All right, Spider-Man has a lot of options here on incoming, has to be mindful of them, and just eats the Dragon Punch once again. If Knowing if Zenpool had gone for that, Zenpool can't actually cancel S on Whiff into anything but X-Factor, and without X-Factor, that's free to a maximum spider punish. I'm going to be honest, I think it's fair to put them in that category, especially with Jam Session. Um, that's just an assist that asserts dominance for anybody here. Live and let die. Yeah, uh, shout outs to uh, Rico. Bro, this Spencer color? Hold up. Nah, that is fire. I didn't even recognize, bro. It is okay, Chris gets the hit. But now the, now the grenade, which is usually your ally, accidentally, unfortunately, spoils the combo. Okay, air to air. Nicely done. Living Legend was looking for it. You can't just get away with, like, very passive sequences against Living Legend. He's usually prepared for them. He's usually looking to pick you apart. And it makes sense, right? Because his character has weak points, obvious weak points. So at, at some points, he needs to take those hard reads to make him more of a neutral. And in fact, Spencer's now dead, so Dante's going to have to come in. And I think I think Spencer versus Dante is okay. Especially now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Prone shot to go under the final shot of million dollars. Trying to stall right now. And unfortunately, got a multi lock there. I think that might have been a hammer attempt, or actually, no, that would have been acid rain. I don't know, killer bee. Um, but uh, <laughs> Frank, he's trying to stall above the fire right now. The... Mm, that oh, was Lord. brutal. That was a brutal setup there. Finds the hit. Sunroot, unfortunately, unfortunately, not going to get any X Factor cancels. Nothing to get this party started. Hooks him 1 0. No characters dead. Living Legend looking good in the first match. First game, excuse me. Yeah, Living Legend uh, has that setup down to a science with the incendiary grenade into getting a Kumon point with the raw tag, demon flip, etc. It's uh, always beautiful to see. But Spencer actually does get the air throw at the start. Unfortunately, no confirm. And Living Legend with the patience gets out of the corner there. Chris with the air throw there to intercept Spencer. Confirming here into the machine gun, saving the ground bounce, using the flamethrower, knock him down. Here comes the Magnum. No meter required. We only pop X Factor. Oh, and set up the unblockable that time. That'll teach you not to push block Chris away from the incendiary. Satellite laser comes out. The pain has been brought. Frank West comes in looking like a Yakuza member. Let's see if he can manage <laughs> to make this top, comeback. Man. This is looking pretty. Okay, Relax wait a minute. Nice. Looking for the opportunity. Found it. Making the most of it. What do we have here? Sweet so level three. Okay, so now we have a real kit, at least, right? We have some tools to work with. We don't have the OP stuff. Mm. Ooh, nice. Zombie coming in, trying to look like Guile West. Those Sonic Booms. Shouts to the Frank West versus Wesker match. Even though they're different universes, it still feels like canon somehow. Oh, it didn't like, get the air throw punish on that. Or yeah, that. I feel, I feel like he's getting away with a lot right now. <laughs> what? Oh, great. Mm. No! Living Jeez. Legend taking advantage of Sunroot being a little too complacent there on defense and tries to go for the command throw. Gets it off, but unfortunately doesn't get the confirm. Backs off, gets Akuma back on point, trying to just... Uh, bait something out, it looks like. Does a super and no punish from Sunroot. He... Uh, they, they knew better not to uh, try to punish that as Wesker Counter was in the wings waiting. Good patience there. Tries to go for it again and actually ends up eating it that time. Actually could have been a punish there with the survival techniques, but uh, once again, Wesker Counter would have actually punished it as well. I would. No one's dying. Try it again. 
Give the connection some air to breathe. All right. Back in action. Well, unfortunately, he went in too hard with the zip there. Left himself open for an air throw on it. Immediate X. I like the idea of treating Spencer as like a... Wow. Meterless kill, too. That is so nice. Okay, well... Sutherland is going wild. He's running wild on this game. <laughs> oh, that was cool. He actually hit the air Tatsu into the ground Tatsu because of the uh, OG assist. That's really, really cool. That's so I love that man. extension. That's adorable. That's awesome. Yeah, it just looks great. I miss Akuma so much. Such a fun yeah. character. Ooh, and Palm into the guard break there. Sunroot wasn't ready for it. Oh, drop the combo. Oh, going to the Raging uh, Demon, but actually uh, a lot. Oh. What? He just, he, he put the stick down. He put the stick down. Yeah. Uh, the, the effort that goes into the scene from that guy. And, you know, fine. If you want to, if you want to drop, drop Wolverine, but still play Iron Fist with the Dormammu Dante shell, let it rock. But Sick Abyss, who we know is a killer, is, uh, doesn't really care, man. Doesn't really care what team you're bringing to the table. He's going to go right in. Uh, got an autocorrect analyzer cube that actually got him out of the combo. Sick of this is going to get both characters here. Goes into the chaotic flame. Iron Fist is going to mm. live, but Gramama is going to die. Which is fantastic to see. And confirm off of the Mystic Ray. Unfortunately, was not in range for the S confirm. Had to be a little closer for that. Making the space right now, trying to find the opportunity to call the Shuma, but did not get punished by the Stinger. Spartan Throne did not get the punish there. Mm. And Sonic Blast, so you have to be very mindful of it. The hitbox is fantastic. It's really high, huh? Yes, it is. I love it so much. Okay, Dante combos on the pink. Mm, just barely misses it. Unfortunate there. It's kind of an awkward space, right? Where you're not sure if you're going to get the... If you need the teleport wall bounce. Not sure if you can get away with the air dash. Hypersonic Blast, you're here to get Modok on point. I kind of like it and run out the rest of the X-Factor. Get the barrier up, call the Mystic Ray. Try to set up town right now. No Analyze Cubes, nothing going on right now. Trying to stay patient just to figure out what's going on. And try to stinger through the barrier, but unfortunately that doesn't work. Booger into the Medium Analyze Cube. Into Dark Hole, great confirm. Locks the down forward heavy, no confirm off of that. Modok rules. I say it all the time. Shout out to Mothman. Saw them in the chat earlier. Stopped by my own stream and we did some cool um, rewatches on one of the uh, Wednesday Night Fights tournaments that they were playing. Uh, Monarch, a character that you're also yourself experimenting with, just sort of represents so many cool ideas of Marvel vs. Capcom and such high potential for the character. Obviously paired with an insane uh, difficulty level and many capacities. So anytime you're seeing somebody flex, especially in like an online tournament situation, um, that just that just freaking rocks. Level one. Yeah, I was gonna say shout out, out to all the Mothman for helping me learn Modok as well as give me a, quite a few pointers. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, we may not see. Oh, uh, we'll see Modok a little longer. Unfortunately, was not able to get a kill there. Flies above the hypersonic blaster. Goes in the stalking flare here. Are we gonna see a teleport potentially? Oh, goes into the hyper mystic ray. I think that was supposed to be hyper mystic smash, but that's okay. The stalking flare had him covered. Ooh, nice confirm mm. there. Sonic Blaster uh, carrying to the corner just where Shuma likes them to be for these eccentric combos. Dormammu coming back on point. And nice Mystic Ray delay for the perfect setup. Dante was not mm. ready for it. Dude, the TAC combos on Modok are crazy. They're crash. Well, that's going to be a lot of damage. Will not kill, though. That wasn't the full nine and uh, intelligence points that you need to get the 400k unscaled. But it's gonna be a lot of damage regardless. Modok is coming in, gets hit by the Iron Rage. Oh no, it doesn't booger into fly and get away. Barrier will actually go through that, but he was already recovered, so he won't be able to get punished. Okay, he tried to set up a situation there and Sycubus, I think, missed a push guard, so it ends up pushing uh, a button that hits, fortunately. And now what does Iron Fist do, man? This is, this is tough. You get a chance to try to hit him when he comes down. You miss it. He immediately gets to do it again. This is so awkward. Okay, wait a minute now. Hold up. Dog, his head is huge. 
Sparty can mm. absolutely make this happen. If there's an Iron Fist to do it, it would be it would be Sparty. Great air throw there, gets the punish. This could be a dead Dormammu, but snaps in the Shuma. Just fights on incoming, presses a button, a very active button from Shuma, of course. Able to hit Iron Fist to find the combo that's going to put him away, putting Sycabus up 2-0 on Sparty. This is tough. Um, Sparty's been, you know, experimenting with a few different teams lately. It's possible he could decide to change it up, but I also don't hate sticking it out. I mean, this is a decent matchup, right? Domamu versus Modok, so. And we see some success, especially with the huge punish there. That's that's big, man. You got, you got a big lead in some of the aspects of the neutral battle here. Now you just have to be careful and don't throw it away, right? How do you manage this situation into a bigger lead? Nice confirm there. Gets the full combo. Oh, unfortunately, doesn't get the full combo. I think it might have been HSD timing, but uh, got the hit off of the Rising Fang. Instead, Stalking Flare is going to kill and be a nice, lovely setup for Sparty. Only one red says. right now. Ooh. This is a dead Dormammu going to be able to get the Purification Chaotic Flame afterwards. It actually does more damage than Dark Dimension here. That is crazy, bro. That is so much damage. Gets the X, yep. Dead Dante. It's gonna be up to Iron Fist once again. Down. Oh to two right now. He has to find a way. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay, hold on now. Wait, so he's out. We do have an X Factor cancel situation coming at some point. Ah yeah, he's gonna have to hold the stalking player. He wants a super, right? Surely, surely. Yep, okay, we got it. Forced out. He doesn't have to X though, because there's no punish. Oh, he's just swinging. He, oh, now he's close. Scared, bro. What? Why did that OTG mess up? What was that? I think so. Like, he's too high, so he got a bigger ground bounce on the air throw or something. That was so strange because normally you get a ground bounce there. Uh, a ground control so that she can set up her seismos and eye lasers uh, via walking them or whatever, but uh, trying to manage all of it and just all hidden missiles correctly. A lot of damage on Dr. Doom off those magnums, so you have to be really mindful of that. Oh, got some damage on Nakuma, though. Shouts to uh, Jetman dropping their prime on the channel as Living Legend dropping her bread and butter on Sea Viper here. Now we're going to have the incoming situation. The grenade is down. Zero actually has to hold the hard to blockable. And he finds the hit. Big, efficient combo. Just going to go ahead and burn in level three. I don't hate it, man. Put this guy away. Dr. Doom's going to... Yeah, as I say, we don't... Yeah, yeah, okay. We don't get anything off of this. But Dr. Doom's going to have to hold the very normie incoming. And we're right back in neutral. Sonaray will not get the punish there. Chris has already recovered from the jump medium, but this will get the hit. Oh, but incendiary grenade, as usual, ruins everything. Great tool and the Chris arsenal, definitely one of the highlights for playing this character. Um, so many positional advantages you can work. Hold up, a drop combo, rare from Living Legend. Right there at the end, now gives King Carlos more life. Gonna be able to have one more super and an X Factor cancel available. Wait. <laughs> That, that's, that shit's good, bro. I think that might be the uh, first time in a while that I've seen someone, or Dr. Doom, die while the other character has been put down. <laughs> right? Yeah. Very very rarely does it go that way. Okay, starting zero now. And I don't hate this because it's less work to bully Chris in neutral. And you really don't want to have to play Chris's neutral game because it is good. Mm -hmm. Not to mention if... Uh, King Carlos is able to get some pressure on Living Legend. They do have access to uh, unblockable setups with burn kick assist being an overhead. Nice, so Gummy's gonna be running out here, hidden missiles. Coming out, Wesker gets hit by the pizza cutter. That was, that was really nice. So we stutter stepped the air dash there and got the hit. So West is going to be a clean kill. Not going to have to spend too much on this. And he's going to have another bar on deck for the incoming on Akuma. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. All that stuff I said was just phony baloney. Wesker is out. He's loose. He's going to try to get close and make something happen with his assist. King Carlos says, I know that. I'm going to put it on Sogenmu. You're not doing nothing. Good block there. Goes for the two button tech, probably. X-Factors gets the hit. 
All right, have to be very mindful here. Viper does have access to two bars, so she does have EX Bird Knuckle and EX Size Metal. We'll get the chance to if she hits the ground. Emergency combination into Photon Array, though. No confirm. Too high. Oh, dude, that scramble situation is leading now to a mega opportunity for a living legend who comes back into this match with a huge advantage. Dude, I was about to say, he held on that for way longer than I thought he would. I thought King Carlos was going to hit the ground and immediately let it rock, and he immediately does deplete his resources. So now it's looking awkward, right? What do you do here if you're a Viper? You can't really... I was about to say, you can't really afford to do nothing because if you play around for too long, the Kuma's going to find a gap and he can pressure you with the beams. I feel like King Carlos felt the heat a little bit and just ends up jumping into an air throw. Viper would have actually been fine doing some Seismos there in the neutral uh, since it is jump cancelable on whiff. Uh, so would have been able to block any super punish attempt. Oh, um, sure. But uh, unfortunately was not mindful of it, tried to advance, didn't have an opportunity to optic laser. Uh, but we're seeing Zero being started again on point this time, getting the hit. Hopefully we'll be able to close it out this time against Chris on the initial hit. Oh, oh. player two side. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, the hit on Dr. Doom from the Magnum, but Zero gets out, so we get to push back Chris in the corner. Pick him up, put him down. Nice and easy, my friend. Well done. Oh, got the hit that time. Wesker is going to take a beating here. Trying to keep this as meter efficient as possible right now. So Genmu is where the problem child lies on the player two side for zero players. Actually managed to finish it this time going into the reunion. Oh, and there's two buttons again. Oh. Viper is already out, so only zero is going to pay the price here. I like the idea behind the setup though. Just unfortunately a little bad on the timing or Living Legend didn't care. Just disrespected the gaps. Anyways, oh! Oh! Oh, you cannot try to punish that. Down to one bar now. Mm. Oh, got the Thunder Knuckle, but won't be able to confirm off of that. Missed the beam. Four Trying meters to go for the still. That was actually punishable. Viper has a substantial amount of landing recovery on a regular burn kit. Unless you have EX Seismo. So much trying to just stall right now. Waiting for that assist call. Oh, got the dive kick. That's going to be it for her. Oh, he gets out of the situation. I think that was a meaty palm, or I'm not sure what he went with. It. I actually don't know. But Dr. Doom has almost two meters, and I think once he gets that two bars, it's a pretty dangerous situation for Akuma. I think Living Legend knows that. He's trying to keep it close. He doesn't want to just hold a plasma beam into super, into a plasma beam into super. That's a, okay, that's something. Bro. Oh. Fearless. That is like the signature move, uh, Akuma move, is to just flink towards the opponent, because a lot of times they try to up back in response, and you just go for the air throw every time. This is it. The last few touches of chip damage he's teleporting trying to get through it falls down with the button and king carlos is on the board but i feel like living legend was still hunting pretty hard yeah akuma was uh, smelling victory still <laughs> like a blue lock character we're gonna see zero on point once again see what living legend does to try to retaliate against this issue at the moment Oh, got hit with the percolation station. Shout out to Static Alpha. Looks like a cross up to stay same side. Zero's gonna be a lot, doing a lot of damage. Snaps Chris out for Akuma. Mm. <laughs> ready for the five frame Tatsu when incoming. Dude. The Akuma heavy Tatsu is so unbelievably disrespectful. I still love seeing it hit. It's so good. It comes out the same frame as the jump light. Koha into the burst time. Oh, try to get a little cute on the incoming there. Not ready for it. Actually going to get hit here. Nope. Push block going to stay in the air. Good job. Nice block. Just not ready for the punish. Excuse me. Uh, Viper ends up dying, and X-Factor is about to run out for King Carlos. Here comes the Team oh, Super. Oh, boy. 
nice job to air dash up and then just block. <sighs> That was a that was a classic online push guard bait there. The fadeaway gunshot. Oh man, that was that was cheeky. Well done, living legend. That was that was that was a good touch. But um, it's gonna be a, it's one thing to to theorize it. It's an entirely different thing to put it into practice, especially against a really awkward matchup. Not even in just Modoc, but. Mystic Ray, in general, as you know, is just a very strange tool to deal with if you're not super prepared. I can shamefully say that I've played all three characters on the right side. <laughs> yeah. At some point. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, man. I appreciate that about you. Okay. All right, so he falls down and actually gets confirmed, but it's awkward, so you actually not oh. able to finish it. Hey, he flow. Oh, bruh. That was her illumination is not timing. the greatest without a good DHC there, and unfortunately, Chaotic Flame is not going to do anything with Jam Sessions already active. So, Modok is about to go down here. Goes into the Sphere Flame, actually push blocks away, and that's going to be a Magnetic Tempest. Can they get out? No, it's going to be a chip out, just committing to it. Admitting defeat there. Let's see if Dormammu can do anything on incoming, but gets jabbed out. That is Dormammu's worst nightmare, is a standing jab waiting below him. Oh, and wasn't ready for it. Did not get the throw punish, and unfortunately got the charge built. I'm pretty sure that's not what it was supposed to be. That was probably supposed to be a teleport or uh, just a standing light, even. Gravity Squeeze is going to help with the Shockwave extension, and will kill off Shuma. Punk goes up 1-0. So, I mean, the Magneto... It's not completely firing it on cylinders yet, but still more than enough to get the job done. Sikubis has to make some responses now. And I mean, so far so good. You want to take as little from this Magneto as possible, but now confirm is on the table. It, it's got to be weird comboing Mag or Modoc with Magneto. I just assume it is. Yeah, what, one thing that I've been learning about Modoc is uh, Modoc can't do a lot of his combos uh, that don't work on small characters. Uh, so he kind of is treated like a small character with the body of a big character without the limbs. It's kind of weird. Uh, but we did see a uh, quick DHC into a Chaotic Flame Punish. Going to be doing a lot of damage here. Dante actually dies while Doom is coming in. No Punish available because Psionic Blaster is actually covering Dormammu at the perfect opportunity. Here comes the big rain. One red, one blue, two blue set up. That's big rain. Once again, Photon Array coming down. Dr. Doom, uh, actually, Photon Array uh, manages to get through the RNG. Dr. Doom had his head covered. And Dormammu gets a hit with the jump medium. That is a fantastic button in this matchup. Stalking Flare comes out. Dr. Doom's not able to get the punish because Stalking Flare is too quick, unfortunately. Builds up the charges, has one red, one blue set up, and gets crossed Ooh. up. Shuma is hit. Oh, didn't backdash to get the OTG on the Shuma, but to get a little bit of a damage. Butter gun on the Dormammu. Wodok's coming in. Dr. Doom's X Factors run out. Too fat to be able to get the cross up. I saw yeah. it. <laughs> that was funny. Sikubis in a good position now. Going to tie this up. One to one. Yeah, I guess that's true. The DAC is a little awkward, so. Technically not still over, but pretty close to over. Yeah, four meters available for Punk, but what are you really going to do to get it started? It's Modoc's game from there. Just right, disengaging from the 99, man. Just like we thought. This barrier is doing so much work in this matchup right now. I'm loving to see it. As soon as Magneto ever forward attacks, he, he just throws it back out. All this damage has been done in neutral by Sonic Blaster and Mystic Ray. And honestly, that's the sign of a great neutral from a Modoc player, 100%. You're keeping distance, you're just punching them into oblivion, and making their life hell, making things really annoying. It's, that sucks. He was like almost in the exact right place to get that punish, but he probably would have had to go to Hammer or something weird to get it there. Nice air throw. Sycabus is playing great tonight. Try to go for the unblockable setup there. Just try to go for the dark hole setup. Love to see it. And actually got the confirm off of it. Hyper battering ram. Oh, the Mystic Ray actually made them drop. But Stalking Flare is going to come out. 
and the hitbox wasn't active enough yet. Mm, it's possible. Wow. Wait a minute. Getting a little too cheeky with the hard tags. Punk might be laying. That was a strange drop. Doesn't matter. We get another hit. What's the mix up? It hits. Okay. Dormammu is definitely the big threat here. Super efficient damage with that X Factor level 3. Go ahead and burn. No! Wait a minute, though. It was all a lie. Because he's going to get the hit anyways. Now Devil Trigger is active. A mix-up situation on Shuma. He's not going to die, but this is going to be a ton of damage if he gets a hit. And he does. Wait a minute, dude. This bread and butter can be big. Really big. I mean, Devil Trigger was active for the entire first part of that combo. It's going to hurt so much. Yeah, unfortunately, Shuma Grath has 950,000. Oh! Actually, got chipped out, though. Actually, didn't get chipped out, got hit. And Bruh. Punk with the bags. Bruh. Two, one, Punk now. After I think was a dominating round after of Sick of this is apart, just kind of lets it get away from him. Oh my god. I would not want to be playing from behind against Punk. I don't care if it's his main team, his second team, his third team. That's, that's a punish on Doom. Okay. No disruptor to punish. Get some chip damage on Modok. Locks a low. Oh boy. Finish the combo. Finish the combo. Finish the combo. Lovely. Yes. Okay. Meter on deck for Punk. Sycabus gets the defense and the air throw. That's huge. So clutch from him right now. Looking great. Kill this Mangito. Absolutely. Get him out of here. What's the setup going to be? Sikibis has every opportunity right now to make this happen. He finds the hit, but not able to capitalize. Back in the neutral against Dr. Doom wouldn't be a bad idea because I think we all know that this matchup is good for Dormammu. Good block. Oh, nice teleport. What a great teleport. Oh, and he oh, boy. He down into oh, it. Oh, boy. <gasps> good patience there. Oh, he didn't. Uh, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is going actually wild right now. Stalking Flare comes out. The Super comes out from Dr. Doom. And the level three. He gets the DAC. For this is a win. Oh, my goodness. Doom, how is he going to do this? Yeah, his options are frozen against this team. This is so horrible. Two to two. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Got a bag back when you get bagged. Uh, one thing that's nice to note is that Hyper Mystic Smash is actually very, very invincible after the Super. It just doesn't have any invincibility on the startup itself. Um, whereas Hyper Mystic Ray has invincibility on the startup, but it's not that long. actually doesn't last long enough before the Flash. Um, so you're DACing into the balls. You're getting more invincibility. Correct. So Stalking Flare into Hyper Mystic, uh, Hyper Mystic Smash is actually a very, 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 very gross... That's cheap. Uh, DHA. That's crazy cheap. Wow. It's cool, though. They feel like they should be kind of a canon pair. Obviously, right? Because of their, you know, their connection anyways. But going to the Wolverine, this is a big pick. Big change in the dynamic of the matchup. But I don't know if it's going to be the change. I mean, undoubtedly, it's a more comfortable character, right? So that, that can't ever be a bad thing. Yeah, the only problem is, though, is that this booger is going to cause all sorts of issues with Wolverine. It's an anti-air, and it's also an active hitbox on the ground, not to mention barrier. Cause all sorts of issues. Hyper Psionic Blaster going to go into the stalking flare here. Not in range to actually get the snapback. Has to super jump over, but just ends up blocking it instead. Dive Kick will hit the Shuma there. Gets a uh, attempt mix-up on Dormammu, but blocks the tree climb attempt. Fatal Claw is going to be going into the Photon Array here to try to save... Oh, actually, Spear Flame to try to save uh, Wolverine some health. Dr. Doom coming in, trying to get in. Fortunately, standing medium whiffs and does not hit the D Virgil for the punish. As one blue charge built, Rapid Slash trying to lock mm. Dormammu down. And Dr. Doom gets Dormammu off the uh, chaos. Punk drop the combo, man. Big drop for Punk. Now Sycabus is going to get a good... Whoa, I thought for sure he was cooked, man. I thought he was cooked. I thought that Chaotic Flame was going to hit. Did you know that wasn't going to hit? I actually looked away. I was trying to 
see what uh, stream chat was talking about, but uh, what time was it? exactly where it needed to be, man. Oh no, that that's character sucks. The combo, bro, with Wolverine, it sucks. I same thing with Tron Bonnet, it just sucks. Body attack in a flight, stalling around. Great movement from Sick Abyss. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of damage on Doctor Doom, but Wolverine unfortunately gets out of it oh. and gets the punish with the Berserker Slash. Leave Wolverine in and just yeah. Oh, great block! That was oh my goodness! Great Love sequence is all over. Mm. Got to be careful with that jump pass. It's not that great with Shuma. Mm, bruh. That was so nice. Great knowledge of the buttons there. Just the dash back into the foot dive. But wait a minute. The body hop combo is not there. The weird squid body paying off. It's not over yet. Sick Abyss has Dr. Doom trapped in the corner. The meter is not yet built, so we can't get the DHC, but you know Punk wants to. That's his plan. He's got 17 seconds left on the clock. He's going to try to keep this nice and lame. Oh, now he cashes out, but it's a hit on Shuma, and he wiggles out of the corner. Oh, if Sick Abyss can't get it going. Oh, my God. What a great bait. He actually hits the button and gets the follow-up, but he lets him out somehow. He's not going to get the kill, and this might just slip away, dude. Oh! All Molecular Shield actually traded. Chaos Dimension is going to not chip here. <sighs> no way, right? He can't. Oh! What? Well, That's not going to be enough. You can't mash the air super. Oh my goodness. It isn't going to be enough. Three super. If it's in the air. Dude. Dramatic to the end. Shout out to Sycabus, who was fighting until the literal last second. Hero wins this matchup still. So. You know, if no life plays up to their potential and is able to to finish what they get started, I think that this is totally more than winnable for them. But yeah, coach has just been on that streak, man. Yep. And uh, oh, unfortunately, wasn't ready for the gravimetric pulse. That would have been a perfect confirm. No life with no confirm there off the ground throw either. Trying to pressure right now. Gets out of the corner with the signature coach Steve maneuver. Jump S into plasma beam assist. Set up with the shields. Oh, great backdash. Getting back behind the shield. Zero runs right into it and get pressure with Plasma Beam. Unfortunately, drop the confirm into the mm. grapple shot. Oh, dude. <laughs> Disgusting. So every simple, time I so that. clean. Beautiful. Yeah, Making it simple and clean. Does get the follow-up though, and that's gonna be a big kill on the, the asset, right? This is the anchor, this is everybody's insurance policy. Cooking it up probably with two meters here spent, so we got a little bit more on deck. We're gonna get Nova back in. Right, and Dante on anchor. We've seen No Life make some comebacks with this character before. X Factor, unfortunately, at the wrong time, was not able to get uh, punished. Coach Steve still had the pressure on him. Well, tags into Doctor Doom, and this is going to be it as soon as he goes into the level three. I always get so antsy whenever I see someone do all the hits of standing heavy into level three at that range. I know against like characters like Nova, if you do it too late in a combo, it makes them flip out or they're too high or something, and it just. I, I always just gotta do the standing medium just for my own sake, <laughs> for my own sanity. All right, Zero is perusing in the air with Nova right now. Gravimetric Pulse is set up. It's only the level one though, so Buster's not gonna deal with it. Mm -hmm. uh, box dash is right over the Buster. Man, no, no life's got a zero game in here somewhere, but so far Coach is making it tough on him. And he knows this matchup, man. Obviously we talked about Flux before. This is just something he's dealt with more than enough in his Marvel 3 career. So, you gotta be playing pretty accurately if you're gonna wanna hit him. Was not ready for it. Ate the overhead. The Nova signature. Gonna be snapping in the Virgil here. Love to see it. Oh, reliable. Blocks it twice in a row, oh, but oh, does not block goodness. the follow up every time. Yeah, he has blocked it both times um, on incoming, but gotten hit on the follow-up. So, Coach Steve getting those second chance points. Whoa. Okay. Oh, Wait nice air throw there. We get a potential comeback here. 
trying to save X Factor for as long as possible. You have to do that with Dante. The general rule of thumb is try to save X Factor for the confirm on the second character if you're in a comeback situation like this. Okay. Oh, oh. dude, the Dante normals, bro. Dante's so goofy in X Factor. Oh, he's he actually might just die. Is he gonna try to heart tag or no? Yeah, the chip, chip is out. enough. This could still happen. Totally happen, dude. Dante been showing up big tonight. X Factor is about to run out though on the Spencer, so he will need two hits if he's gonna make this mm. come. Gets the standing jab, acting like it's vanilla hitbox. That was cute. I like that. He kind of showed him like, like it was like a frame kill, and then he did it a couple times and he got the hit. That was nice. Oh, Steve just strings on through it and finds no life standing up. The low hits. Gonna move up 2-0, so now No Life has to make a big adjustment. If there was gonna be a zero game in this set, he needs to pull it out now and just run away with this thing. Let's confirm off the jam session, unfortunately, drops the rest of the confirm. Hot and Gaki into the punish on, but unfortunately, it was too far away for the Buster to actually confirm. Meter is out now. Buster trades with the Dolphin Kick. Haven't seen that one before. Oh, high speed tackle is going to get some damage on Dante. Oh, but no, the shield! Grab metric pull saves it. Uh, okay, the hard tack. Man, he gets away with it. Actually, that's so bad. Steve kind of getting away with murder there, especially with the uh, so getting move active. Man, and he even gets the air throw. What a, what a momentum swing. He can't kill. Okay. Hold on. Please put this combo down. Let's get this whole thing finished. Milo, thank you for the gifted sub. Enjoy that salute. Oh, shout out to salute, man. Oh, wait a minute. Spencer's out. Oh. And he gets the team super. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> Milo also then. Or Milo. However it should be pronounced. Also then resubbing. Thank you so much. That's a double whammy. That's a double whammy of support. Nova is bleeding, bro. Virgil is on deck. Whoa. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah. Oh, won't be able to kill those. Side switch happened, unfortunately. I think you can backdash into high time, get a little extra damage there, but that wouldn't have been enough to kill. The invincibility would have kicked in it, uh, uh, after about one or two tries. I'm bringing in Dante here, but okay. And then he just brings Zero back in, which is also fine. So give him his active. No life on the board. Staying alive right now, earning that breadstick. Try to see Ooh. if we can tie up the match. Bro, Bro that was so... Ugh. That was so, like, laser-accurate dolphin kick there. Just beating him out of his button at exactly the right time. Into the full confirm. Oh, man. This is bad for no life right now. Dante coming in. Shield block. Oh, brother. He gets out. He actually goes for one more overhead, which is one more too many. And now Dante scrambles out with a hit. Resets. It's getting crazy. It's getting weird. Super, super. Here I am. Here I am. That was cute. That was, that was cute. Actually kind of gross. Oh, unfortunately, had to go into the dimension slash there to save the lunar phase. He's still alive. Oh, oh, brother. I'm surprised. Now be careful. Gonna watch out for the X Factor cancel. But this is a bad spot for Steve. Okay, until he just gets a hit. Let's go. But he falls out. Doom Spencer with no meter is awkward. Yeah, because you could very easily have the X Factor cancel baited, which it is. And now that that's been forced out, it's if Steve can... Or, excuse me, if No Life can weather this out, then it's a super even match at this point. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Mixes it up, gets another hit. Look how even this is getting now, man. And with no real way to get Spencer in without just hard attack. Okay. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Yeah, baby, it's Friday night. That's what's going on. Raw combo from Virgil. It's a bread and butter on the board if he wants it. Yes, he's going to do the full extension. Nice. And puts him back down. Respecting the bionic arm. Simple mix up, but it's good. Just a pick him up, put him down situation. Oh, oh it's going to hit. Oh, brother. Oh, <laughs> brother. And Virgil oh, was displaced baby. off Dante just so that the slant or the grapple actually hit. 
Oh, that's gonna be a chip out. Wait, no, dude. nice run tag. Ah, I had to hold my breath there. I had to hold my breath there for the uh, for the rest of the the match. So now we can breathe again. It's two to two. It's tied up. And uh, I think the momentum still kind of favors Coach because he was calling back into that match. No Life seemed a little shaky. So let's, let's relax a little bit, No Life. Put a zero game on the board. That's what you want to do, right? If you're the zero make cry player, get a runaway game. But so far, Coach's accuracy has been so strong. Oh, no, he got baited. Did you bait? What? What? Zero players are never this nice to me, bro. Ever. Sheesh. I have a feeling that Coach C was ready for that that low, but was not ready for Jan Session to not properly push far enough. Because No Life, it looked like, did the uh, dash down early so that it would stay across. So if you do it late after the Jam Session has done its final hit of the put of the pressure strength, it'll actually push them back in front of zero. Spencer activation has been pushed out. And, I mean, yeah, two meters on deck for Spencer, but you really don't want to go... Spencer into Doom DAC unless you're killing somebody. And air to air lightning. Now suddenly coach is big time on the back foot. Zero in control. Okay, this is good. This is damage. Good. Yeah. Great use of the meter there to get a big punish on Dante. So now if you get a hit on zero and you kill that character, man is Dante coming in bleeding. Great block. The buster is a good punish, but not able to confirm. It's a hit. Mm, it confirm, confirm, bro. No Aww. way, but he drops out. It's such it's an awkward over, yeah. mm, More scrambles. The assists are trading with each other. Ruining, ruining confirms for both sides. We might see a Dr. Doom hard tag. Yes. I think No Life sensed it, but he wasn't in the right place to punish it. Falling in. He doesn't go for the foot dive. He goes for the falling in and actually gets enough hits done. Yeah. That was sick. Coach Steve is firing on all cylinders right now, man. No life coming in with Virgil, but no meter on deck and no X Factor. Juicy, juicy incoming, but no life actually able to block it. Dr. Doom kind of, kind of okay to keep in right now, but hey, no life in the right place to get a punish. Bro, this is so close. Oh, I think that actually crossed up on the rapid slash there. No life being able to get the kill here with on Dr. Doom. Mm, son. This is so close. This is dead even. What does he have this confirmed? Oh, oh no. He has no meter. If Steve hits him, he's dead. Here. Oh, that's it. He might be dead. No. Oh, dropped it. Commentator's mm -hmm. case. No life advances. Three to two. Over Coach Steve by Rensenko. I think we've all been waiting for it. I think we've all known it's coming, right? Everybody knew this was coming, baby. We we all knew it. And uh, <laughs> here we are, baby. No, no, I, it's total <laughs> memes. I don't think I don't think anybody. I I don't know what to say, man. I'm here. I'm ready to see what we're talking about. I'm, I want to see some synergy. I want to see unblockable. I want to see potential. This car firebrand is hard. I just want to say. Uh, that is one of the hardest characters to play in this game, in my opinion, because of the absurdity of the, not just team composition that needs to really be focused, but the neutral. And the execution is also very crazy. Oh, actually got the Shenko raw tag on point without even getting touched, reflecting all these fireballs. No Astral Vision coming out on Prodigy side, so don't have to worry about the fireballs coming from behind. Getting those gogs. I how casually can you realistically play Firebrand? Like how, like, like we've seen PZ break out the Senko and be like, damn, you're you're whooping ass. Like you're putting some lab time in this. How much lab time can they be putting into Firebrand off? That's pretty exciting. I hope we see a second game of it. Shouts to Badoof gifting the sub to old Cloud 805. The that stun was rod. Yeah, that is. This character design is a wacky man. What a game. Oh, he's still alive. This is not good. Yeah, can you get out? Armor comes in. Just need to stall to get that health back so that you can call the gold armor assist safely. Hmm. Snapping in the okay. Shenko. I don't hate this. 
You know, there's a saying. Gold armor don't work if you don't got health. <laughs> I like the idea of doing the soul fist, uh, soul drain as well, excuse me, because like it makes sense. Like, okay, if you're gonna do an armor move, I'm really gonna punish you for it, right? Like, I'm gonna take some meter, make it hard. And honestly, man, PZ, PZ it has a history of playing Doom as a stall character because of the original Zero Doom Phoenix team. Um, that's the PZ boy who eliminated me at Evo 2012 with that team, that Zero Doom Phoenix. And I first like kind of encountered what it was like to just like there were so many Phoenixes in that tournament, but um, just like I thought I had him right. I thought I really was in, in positions of advantage, but he really does string it out for a long time and makes the most out of his characters. And uh, you know, it makes sense for the Cinco thing, right? Because sometimes you do need to let her heal because she does start on point before you get that assist efficiency back. So it's a cool little team building detail uh, that I like. Shouts to KT Balrog uh, dropping the uh, 17 month streak, man. Thank you. Oh, nice reflect in the magnetic blast. Gold armor got the Doctor Doom in safely. Magneto tried to get the punish, but Doctor Doom already recovered. Put himself in the blender with the swing. Morgan comes in. Sorry, Phoenix comes in. I know what team I explained. Yo, that was a, that was not on purpose, for sure. Oh. Blow up, dead, gross, Phoenix gone. Anchor Morgan time. Mm, oh, nice shadow. shadow blade. Yeah, didn't have to use the level three, so that's nice. You have to be on point with the uh, incoming meaties against Morgan because Shadow Blade is a three-frame dragon punch. As ridiculous as that sounds, that's, even in the that's air. Disgusting. I was about to say in the air, bro. And on Come the ground. On. Come on. Monday. Most jabs in this game are only four frame. The only one that's three is Amaterasu's standing jab, which is one of the worst normals in the game. Yeah. The bark. Yep. Little iron iron. This is just like hard because PZ really doesn't have to play any ball here, right? Like Prodigy forced to kind of use a natural vision here to make something started, but PZ still really doesn't have to participate. And even this punish is pretty small overall, so... Yeah, it's going to be tough for Prodigy. It is possible, and Morgan does have a lot of potential with X-Factor. And, and, you know, an anchor position, you also get a lot of meter. But, yeah, this is going to be tough. Fruity, thank you for the gift of submit. Whoa, did we just have a $49 contribution to the match arena? Excuse me? Did I just see that correctly? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I have $49 contribution. Thank you. Thank you so much for gifting to the players, man. Love to see it. All right, Cinco comes out, takes a bunch of soul fists to the face, and just keeps dashing through it. Who cares? We're going to put the armor back on, and I guess, yeah, bring Virgil on out. Stole some meter after that high time. Being able to go into another actual vision here. Oh, and unfortunately, got to respect the gold armor. That's crazy. That's crazy. Well done from PZ getting the assist out, but I was I was just about to praise Prodigy because they were really doing a great job of fighting back in that game. That was that was actually pretty impressive. So well done, but PZ closed it out and <laughs> Senko's air dash, man. That's that's something else. What 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 great character, you know? Just just charming. Oh oh, I was a about to be colored surprised if that confirmed what do a full combo but uh we're gonna be remaining realistic here at this point senko uh you know staving off magneto very well right now unfortunately prodigy is close to that five bars so we'll be in a very good position here with uh not being able to snap phoenix in Magneto almost at that five bars. Raw tags into Morgan. Try to get Magneto to recover some health and also just get on point. Has access to the disruptor assist, but has to be careful with it. As a counter call from Dr. Doom would result in death. Oh, ton of Ray DHC after the gold armor. Dr. Doom is now in safely, trying to just stall out this Astral Vision at the moment. Morgan just over four bars. to be able to get some of that meter back. In the event that Phoenix does get snapped in, Ooh, it kind of like got interrupted, but actually after the chase down situation, it's still paying off. So we're going to get kill a Morgan and a pretty deep HP deficit on Magneto. 
but it seems like we're also gonna get five for Phoenix for sure, right? Yeah, that was gross. But this this is happening, right? Phoenix is coming out. You can tell PZ is used to playing Doom Virgil when you see him incoming mix up like that. <laughs> yeah, right. PD jab, cross up foot dive. Alright, so potential tools though. So if Phoenix does activate, we have the gold armor on Cinco, yeah? And then we also have Virgil. So we're we gonna get a DAC right off here. Yeah. So we're gonna get a super into a super. Into a super. Swords into swords. Yep, swords into sword. He gets a mix. Okay, he blocks it. Nice guy. That was actually kind of cheeky, though. Be able to time out a lot of this X Factor here. And call Shenko. Uh, <laughs> great X Factor cancel there. That was exactly what you wanted to do if you could get the opportunity ever between those feathers. And Cinco just took so much damage. I think that made Prodigy hesitate a little bit. You know, you saw Cinco and it was like, oh, is she dead? Like, she's about to die. What's going on here? She's about to hit me. Should I stop hitting buttons? And that was just exactly what PZ needed to extract to cancel. Get a punish. All right, back to neutral. Okay, we actually might have a dead Cinco here. Big Cinco removed from the equation. <laughs> you, you know, it's uh, how much damage PZ Boy has been doing with Cinco when that's actually like a huge deal for Cinco yeah. to actually die. PC Boy does get a retaliation here, getting the confirm off of the stray jump medium. On the way down, Prodigy is going to lose Magneto now. Virgil comes on point with the Spiral Swords. Raw Tag's back into Doctor Doom. Was expecting to get some additional damage there, but did not need it. Morgan comes in and actually eats out the standing S with Doctor Doom. As massive as, the, as that hitbox is, it loses the shell kick pretty badly. Doctor Doom gets the TAC counter. Morgan has to respect this. Unless she gets the Astral Vision. So we kind of have a duel of the real big threats of the shell still. I mean, Cinco is dead, and that has been a pain, so I'm not downplaying here. But uh, Virgil is the big counter to Phoenix, and still alive so far. And then Phoenix will most certainly be activated, barring some, you know, tech situation. Anything that Morgan can get done in between is just huge, right? So, an up TAC. We're going to go for the long combo, or we're going to do a down TAC situation. We're just going to go in the long haul for the infinite. PZ Poi should have these, uh, being a Phoenix player previously. So, can't be a Phoenix player if your Doom Infinites aren't on point. Unless you don't play Doom at all. Man, I remember trying learning those, and I was just like, I suck. That's how I knew I would never be good at this game. It was like, I just could not learn TA Symphony. It was like, you're done, bro. All right, Phoenix gets a hit, but not able to kill Virgil, which would have been huge. Would have had a chance to pop X Factor, get the kill. Still does. Interesting. We, that's what we go for here, right? You probably have to kill this character. Yes, absolutely. I like it. Dr. Jim is, uh, as strong as he is, he unfortunately doesn't have very good uh, options against mm. Phoenix uh, or Dark Phoenix. Uh, so you kind of have to hold that at that point. But uh, game five now, PZ Point and Prodigy both tied it too. Ooh, the falling button. That's actually one of their good buttons. Yeah, Shenko is a fantastic uh, jump ass. Getting the infinite this time. Let's see if we actually finish it. Oh, I don't. That couldn't have been a reaction, right? It looked like PZ Boy was just committed to the molecular shield. Bro, Prodigy has been, I think, fighting so much with the Morgan. I think that really has been my my MVP from from them this match been so much effort coming out of this character and then once again it's going to be a huge task they're going to have to get a lot of work done to get Prodigy back in this match almost 4 meters though we're, we're, we're getting there you, oh, Soul Drain gets Ooh. us a lot further nicely done mm. yeah there it is that was that was the monumental work we were doing nice. with the Morgan, and now this, this, the hill just got even more steep. Oh, and a clean hit to the toesies. 
That should do it. Okay. Oh, 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 no. No, no, no. He, he knew. He knew. Okay. Hold on. He respected. It's getting crazy. T throw tech. Oh my goodness. He's got to be careful about calling Sinko, man, because a couple of soul fists. The character might die. This is wild. This is really silly. This is like, this is, this has happened so much tonight. This like, you barely got reset and stayed alive. This doesn't combo? He brings in Virgil, who's in double trigger. Yeah, it did. This is about as close to being over as it could be without being over. And it's not over yet. He does get a hit. So we get a bread and butter combo. Meanwhile, Virgil is in Devil Trigger, so he doesn't build any meter. I mean, it's kind of happening. Let's it's kind of happening. Shadow Servant. It's kind of happening, but this is going to be tough. You have to hit Dr. Doom immediately somehow. Oh my god! Great incoming situation that hits on the other side. Now we have a bread and butter. How do we put Sinko away? Shinko, though. Can you avoid yeah. chip damage here? How do we do this? Hey, but, oh, you also have to hit her because of the mirror. Oh, yeah, man. That was great.